So um, it says here in your resume that you're bubbly and outgoing. Yep, sure am. When you're going for a new job, you want to put your best foot forward, right? So how do you structure your resume and your cover letter so that you convey the best parts of you? Well, you need some insights. So in this video, we're going to be using personality insights to analyze your resume and potentially a cover letter so that you can understand what's being conveyed to your recruiter. Likewise, if you're a recruiter or a manager, you can also use this same code to evaluate a cover letter and a resume a whole lot faster. So if you've got a lot, you can speed through them quite quickly. Let's take a deeper look as to what we're going to be going through today. So in today's video, we're going to be covering three key things. Now, they're all going to be themed around extracting resume insights. Now, we're mainly going to be working with Python. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is read in our resume into Python using a PDF library. Then the second thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the Watson Personality Insights API to generate personality insights from that resume. And last but not least, we're going to be able to visualize those results using Matplotlib and Seaborn. So that will allow you to get a full profile of what's actually being conveyed in your resume. And if you're a manager or a recruiter, this is going to allow you to see what a candidate's personality looks like from their cover letter or their resume. Now, let's take a look as to how this is all going to work. So first up, we're going to be reading a resume into our Jupyter Notebook using PDF2. So this is an easy way to bring in PDFs into Python. Then we're going to be generating personality insights using the personality insights API. And we've got a couple of Python libraries that we can use for that. And last but not least, we're going to be using Seaborn and Matplotlib to generate a full profile of what's being calculated. Ready to do it? Let's get to it. Alrighty, so this video is largely focused around extracting insights from a resume. Now, the insights that we're specifically talking about are personality insights. Now, in order to grab those personality insights, we're going to be relying on a couple of key things, and those are specifically these three things, which are PyPDF2, so this allows us to read in a PDF into Python. We're also going to be using the Watson Personality Insights Service, so this allows us to extract a whole bunch of awesome insights from a piece of text. And then last but not least, we're going to be visualizing our results with Seaborn. Now, in order to get set up, I've just got a Jupyter Notebook set up here. So you can see that we've got our four key steps and I've also got an old resume in PDF format. So you can see that there, it's got a whole bunch of text. We're actually gonna pre-process this and be able to extract insights from my old resume. Who knows what my old personality might have been like. Now, if you wanna do this type of analysis with a Twitter feed, for example, you can also do that. I'll include a link somewhere up there. Check out that video if you wanna do it with Twitter. This one's mainly gonna be focused on resumes. So without further ado, let's start writing some code. Now, the first thing that we need to do is make sure that we've got PyPDF2 installed. So let's run the command to do that. And again, we're just gonna be using a pip install command to do that inside of our notebook. Alrighty, and so what we've gone and done is written the command exclamation mark pip install PyPDF2. So this allows us to now bring in PyPDF2 and work with it inside of our notebook. So let's first up import it into our notebook. And then what we can actually do is read in our resume. So first up, we're just going to use the standard open functionality inside of Python to open up that file. Then we'll pass it to PyPDF2 to do that pre-processing. Okay, so we've read in our PDF or opened it up. Now, specifically the two lines of code that we've written there, we're first up defining a variable called resume file path. And this is just basically where our PDF is actually stored. In this case, we're in the same directory. So that's what we're pointing to. And then we're using the open functionality within Python to open that up and read it as a binary. Now what we can do is actually read it using PyPDF in order to extract the text from it. So let's do that. And there we go. So we've now gone and read in our PDF into our Jupyter Notebook. So if we take a look at our text, you can see that we've got our entire resume read in. Now we're using a resume, but if you want, you could do this with a cover letter or pretty much any body of text. 
Alrighty, so let's take a look at the code that we've actually just gone and written. So first up, we define a variable called PDF reader. And what we've done there is we've used the PDF file reader method inside of PyPDF2 to handle our file. Then we've set up a single page handler. So in this case, we're just working with the first page in our resume. And to do that, we're getting our first page using the get page method. Then what we're doing is we're extracting the text from that. And then I've just done a little bit of pre-processing and removed these dots and the bars. So this is specific to my resume because I had a whole bunch of these little dots to separate line items, but that's fine. You, you can skip those if you don't have those in your resume or if you've got different text, you can sub those in there. And so basically what we've got is this big body of text here now. So the next thing that we need to do now that we've got our text is actually start importing and authenticating to our personality insight service. So that's pretty much it in terms of pre-processing our text. Now we can actually get to the good bit and start building some personality insights. So let's first up import our dependencies and then we can go on ahead and start setting up our service. So those are our two dependencies brought in. So we've brought in personality insights from IBM Watson. And we've also, so this is going to be our core service that we're going to work with when actually generating our profile from our resume. Then the second thing that we've also brought in is our IAM authenticator. So this is just an object that allows us to authenticate and validate that we are who we are against our API based service. Now what we need to do is actually go and set up our service on IBM Cloud. But before we do that, we're just gonna set up two quick variables and these are variables for our API key and our URL. So if you've seen another video where I worked with personality insights or with some other Watson services, it's pretty similar to that. So we're gonna set up those credentials and let's then set up our service. Okay, so we've set up two variables. So one called API key and we've just left it blank for now and one called URL and again, that's blank. Now let's go on ahead and grab our API key and our URL. So I'll show you where to get those from. So to get those, you just need to go to cloud.ibm.com forward slash catalog. And then what you can do is once you get to that page, if you hit catalog up here, this is going to take you to the catalog where there's a whole bunch of services. Then you can hit services on the left hand side of the screen there and then choose AI machine learning. So this is where all the AI machine learning services are and personality insights is over here. So if you select that, then you're going to have a whole bunch of services that you can start setting up. You can choose the region that you want to deploy in. So I'm just going to choose Sydney because I'm based in Sydney uh, and then choose the different tiers that you want. So just choose the light tier for now. It's free and you can get up and started pretty quick. So we're going to choose light and then hit create down here. And then once that page has finished loading, we'll get an API key and we'll get the URL that we're going to need. So to grab those two values, we just need to go to manage and then you can see that those two credential values are here. So we've got our API key and we've got our URL. So let's grab our API key first and then paste it into our variable. Then grab our URL and let's paste that into here as well. And that's done. So now what we need to do is actually use our API key and our URL and authenticate using our IAM authenticator and then set up our service. So let's do that. So that's our authentication done. So we've written three lines of code there, although it looks like a little bit more, but we've just spaced it out. So the first line of code, let's just actually space it out so we can see that a little bit better. So the first line of code that we've written is setting up our IAM authenticator object. And to that, we're passing through our API keys. Remember, we imported the IAM authenticator up here and we're storing that inside a variable called authenticator. Then what we're doing is we're setting up our personality insight service. So to this, we're then going to pass our authenticator down here. And we're also passing through another keyword parameter, which just specifies the version of the API that we're going to be using. So in this case, just put in exactly what you see here. So 2017-10-13 for now. And then the last thing that we need to do is set our service URL. So this basically tells our Python library, our Python instance, where our URL is in the World Wide Web. So now we can start profiling. So now that that's all done, so the boring authentication and stuff, 
we can actually start generating our profiles. So let's go on ahead and generate our first profile from our resume. But again, keep in mind, this could also be a cover letter, could be a uh, letter of reference or a CV or really anybody body text. So let's build one for our resume. And there we go. So we've now generated our profile. Now there's gonna be a couple of key things that we're able to extract out of this. So specifically, we're able to extract our personality as well as our values and our needs. Now a quick warning. So in this case, this is returned back. There are 493 words in our input because my resume is a little bit short at this stage. We need a minimum of 600, preferably 1200 or more. So the longer the resume or the longer the cover letter that you've got, the better this is going to work, but that's fine we can keep pressing forward for now. Now you can see that we've got this big JSON object here and this contains all of the different aspects of our personality insights, but this is a little bit tricky to work with or it's not the nicest thing to work with. So what we're going to do is pretty print this out so it looks a little bit nicer. Let's, so let's just minimize that for now and what we can do is print out each one of these. Okay, so in this case, we're analyzing our personality. So this takes a look at how open we are, how conscientious we are, our level of extroversion, agreeableness, and as well as our emotional range. So again, really, really quickly, we, we didn't pass through a lot of text, but we're already, we're getting these really rich personality insights. So you can then use this to evaluate, hey, what type of personality am I projecting in my resume, but also likewise, what type of personality am I projecting in my cover letter? If you're coming at this from a recruiter or a manager or a hiring manager perspective, then you can start to use this to analyze the personalities that you're getting in. Now, let's take a look at the other different keys that we've got available in this personality insight. Okay, so in this case, what we've gone and done is we've accessed two of the other keys. So we've also accessed our values as well as our profile. I don't think we actually took a look at what this code was doing, but let's, let's quickly take a step back. So in this case, what we're doing is we're accessing the personality key from this profile that we set up there. So if we actually open up that profile and type the dot keys, you can see that we've got a whole bunch of different keys. So we've got the word count, the word count message, as well as the personality, the needs and the values. Now what we're doing in these three cells here is we're printing out the personality and specifically the name of the trait as well as the percentile. We're then printing out the values, the name and the percentile, the needs, and then the name and the percentile. And so what we're doing is we're looping through each one of these. So specifically, we're looping for our personality, or this should be a value in our particular key. So in this case, profile personality, which is this one up here. We're then printing out personality name. So this is the name of the trait and the percentile as well. So what we've done is we've just repeated this three times. So we've got our personality, our values, and our needs. Now, if we analyze the others, we can see inside of our values, we've got conservation, openness to change, self-enhancement. So those are all sort of pretty medium style uh, results. Looks like openness is pretty high up here. If we scroll a little bit further, these are our needs. So liberty is pretty uh, it's moderate, about 0.36. Love in this case is 0.68. Practicality, yeah, I'm a pretty practical person, is about 0.75. So this ranges from a score between zero and one, so higher being a more associated to that particular trait, lower being closer to zero. Now that we've done that, I think it's time to start visualizing some of these personality traits. So let's quit it with the printing and actually get to visualizing. So the first thing that we need to do in order to visualize is bring in a couple of libraries. So for this, we're going to be using matplotlib, pandas, as well as seaborn. So let's bring those in. Alrighty, so those are our libraries imported. So we've gone and imported, so from matplotlib import pyplot as plt. So this is a pretty standard practice whenever you're importing matplotlib. We've also imported Seaborn, so import Seaborn as SNS. And then last but not least, we've brought in pandas, so import pandas as PD. Now what we can go and do is pre-process some of this stuff, get it into a pandas data frame, and then push it out to a plot.
Alrighty, so that's our data frame set up. So if we take a look, you can see that we've first up selected only a single key. So in this case, we've selected needs, but we could just as easily make this for values or one of the others as well. But let's leave it as needs for now. So what we've gone and done is we've gone and extracted one of those sets of personality traits. So in this case, we've grabbed needs and then we've created a dictionary. So this line here is basically looping through each one of the needs and storing it as a key value pair. So specifically for that, what we've done is grabbed the name of the trait and then the percentile. Then we've created a data frame from that. So we've used pandas.dataframe.fromdict. So that's the method to create a data frame from a dictionary. We've passed through our dictionary that we just set up here and we specified orient equals index. And then we've reset the index and then set our columns to make it a little bit easier to grab the column that we need. Then by typing in df.head, we're able to visualize the first five rows of data. So in this case, you can see we've got challenge, closeness, curiosity, but again, we could view more if we wanted to. And those are pretty much everything. I think we had more than that. So, yep, so there's about 11 of those within our needs key. Now, again, we could change this. So in this case, we took a look at values, but we could also see personality. So in this case, if we type in personality, now we're grabbing all of our personality insights. We'll leave it as needs because there's more there. And let's go in and plot this out. And that's our personality plot. So in this case, it's our needs plot. So you can see that this is visualizing each one of those needs in a beautiful Seaborn plot. Now, in order to write this, what we've done is we've first up set our plotting size. So in this case, we've done that by using PyPlot and specifically matplotlib. So we typed in plot.figure and then set our figure size to 15,5. Then we've created a Seaborn bar plot. So there's a whole heap of different plots inside of Seaborn. So you can create uh, heat maps, joint plots, facet grids, whole bunch of really nice libraries. I really like this. It's got some really nice charts. Uh, so we've created a bar plot and to that we've passed through our percentile as well as our need. So this was these two columns that we're taking a look at here. And then we've passed through our whole data frame and set our title to traits by percentile, which you can see there. And we've typed in plot.show to pretty print our plot so we can see it nicely. Now this sort of encapsulates everything that you're getting out of personality insights. Now, if you wanted to, you could change this plot. So if we wanted to do it purely on personality, we could just change personality in this line here, rerun it, and now you're getting a new plot. So you can clearly see that my personality is sort of focused around openness, but you can see there's a bit of conscientiousness and a bit of extroversion there as well. So really, really quickly, we've been able to extract a whole bunch of insights from a single resume. So hopefully you can use this code to help you get that dream job of yours. Now I've covered quite a fair bit in this. So first up, we remember we've read in our resume using PyPDF2, then we imported and authenticated to our personality insight service. We extracted a whole bunch of personality insights from our resume. So specifically, we grabbed our personality, we grabbed our values as well as grabbing our needs. And last but not least, we were able to visualize it using Seaborn. And again, just by changing this line here, you can change what aspect of personality you're actually going to visualize. And that about wraps up this video. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and tick that bell so you get notified of when I release new videos. And let me know in the comments below what you found as part of your resume insights. Thanks again for tuning in. Peace.